I got a couple of little sandwich thingies, a pizza, some cured meat. Um, it wasn't a huge selection, but it wasn't the worst I've seen. So uh, yeah, considering it's, you know, two in the morning. friends it is ocean key day we're almost there we're about an hour away uh, from the island we're supposed to get there at about 1 30 with the expectation of being able to debark around 2. i have obviously been up and gotten ready and all those things and i'm gonna go get some brunch they have dining room lunch uh today which normally they only have on sea days for msc but uh, because we're getting to report so late today i guess they you know decided that that's the thing they're gonna do, which I'm glad, I'm happy about. Their dining room food tends to be uh, quite good. So we're gonna go do that, see what that's about. And that should put us right about the time to, you know, be getting off at Ocean Key and, you know, explore the island and all of that. I'll probably hold back a little bit because everybody's gonna rush the gangway, I just know it. Um, so I reckon we'll be out there around 2.30, 3 o'clock. And uh, we're here overnight, so I can be out there for hours on end if I want to. And uh, we'll see what the afternoon evening festivities uh, bring. But that's what's up for today. That's what we're gonna start out with doing. Um, I'm sure my room store is ready for me to get out of here so he can clean the room. I'll be passing back through here to pack my little backpack and stuff for the beach, but otherwise um, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> and I'll of course take you with me. We'll see what we see, we'll do what we do, and uh, we'll talk soon. So I made my way down to the dining room and I was happy to see they had a pretty good selection, including this around the world thing. And I debated between a couple of options, including Eggs Benedict, but I ultimately decided to try the Japan one. Like they usually do for breakfast, they came around with a basket of pastry, so I grabbed one of those, as well as a mimosa. And then within a few minutes, my food was delivered, and that did not disappoint either. I also got a bagel with cream cheese, and then made my way back up to the room. Back to the room, and I got my diamond gift delivery. Some dark chocolate. Some spumante. However you say that word. Um... And then the macarons down there, and a couple of MSC branded glasses, and uh, unfortunately those, those aren't to keep. I wish I could put them in my bag and, you know, take them home, but um, yeah. The perks of being diamond, I also have to figure out the um, specialty dining perk, because I do get a free meal. Um, there's only one specialty dining restaurant on board. It's the Asian dinner experience or whatever. Um, very seafood heavy, so... Uh, We'll see how that goes. Um, they did have, like, chicken and shrimp options, which, you know, because I don't, like, I like sushi and stuff, but I'm not real exotic with it, so um, we'll see what the deal is with that. I did look at the menu, and there were definitely things on there that I would like, so uh, we'll figure that out later, because um, they're definitely not open at the moment. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm going to put my bag together. My room steward has done my room in the quick amount of time that I was gone. I was only gone for, like, 45 minutes, and... Yeah, it's all made up and nice and ready to go. I'm gonna pack my little beach bag and then head out onto the beach. Yeah, that's what's up. Brunch was very good. I got something called fried chicken karage, uh, something like that. They had an around the world sort of theme. There were like 10 dishes from different countries or whatever, and that one was from Japan. And it had bacon fried rice um, with some pieces of fried chicken. And uh, yeah, it was very good. Um, can recommend. And I just got a bagel and cream cheese and a little pastry thing and a mimosa, of course, because it was brunch. So that was that. But anyway, let's go do stuff. Uh, we'll talk soon. <laughs>
All right, y'all. So weather was very nice today. As you can see, I got a, ugh, quite a bit of heat out there. Uh, anyway, um, but there towards the end, some black clouds formed in the area and they started collecting umbrellas. And um, it seems like they might be shutting down out there, um, which I hope that isn't true because we're supposed to have like, you know, evening beach stuff, parties and whatever. Uh, the lighthouse is broken though. Um, so no lighthouse show today. Um, I guess they had a storm come through a couple weeks ago and damaged some of the uh, LED panels or whatever, and uh, they haven't been fixed yet. So yeah, that's on hiatus for now. And, um, but the schedule and everything is still showing the beach party. So unless something crazy happens, I, I don't know. Uh, we're all gonna be back out there in a couple of hours. I'm back on board for dinner. I did book my diamond uh, deal, whatever, for the Oriental Plaza Cafe is what it's called. Um, I'll let you know how that goes. I'm a little worried because it's very seafood heavy and uh, I'm very picky when it comes to seafood. So anyway, I'm sure I'll get plenty full and uh, they'll hook me up with some alternatives if need be. And yeah, I'll tell you how that goes later. Um, but for now, I'm gonna freshen up, get dressed and uh, get ready for that. So I'll talk to you here in a bit. Bye. <laughs> So while I was gone, they did come back for the turndown, so the bed's nicely made and all that. Um, MSC does still do the two times a day service. Uh, they're the only cruise line I think that still does, at least the ones that I've been on. But yeah, let's talk about the Oriental Plaza experience, uh, whatever, uh, specialty dining thing. Um, it was good. Uh, certainly a lot of food. The courses in and of themselves seem small, but... Collectively, it's five courses, and you end up with a lot of food. I was quite stuffed by the end, uh, and that's that I didn't even finish a couple of the courses. So, yeah, uh, definitely worth it as far as amount of food that you get. If I wasn't getting it for free as part of my diamond perks, I probably wouldn't pay for it out of pocket, uh, personally. I didn't think the food itself was as good as I would have wanted it to be. It wasn't bad. It was fine. Um... But being that that's something on board that you're paying extra for, uh, to me, it should be very high quality uh, and at least comparable to, if not better than what you would get on land. That's the equivalent, you know, type of food. There's a teppanyaki place down the street from my house that I could have done almost all the same things uh, there and it would have come out to about the same, maybe even less. Because if you do the experience, it's $42, which isn't horrible, um, but uh, yeah. So that's my opinion of that. Um, not the best, not the worst. Perfectly fine. I'm very full. I'm uh, going to lay here and, you know, be out of breath. because uh, I literally had to loosen my belt at the table. So uh, anyway, and then we'll see what we get up to this evening. There hasn't been any announcements or anything about the beach party being moved or changed or anything. So I'm going to check the schedule, make sure that that's still happening. I would like to go out there for that, maybe. Um, but it was raining earlier, so I'm not sure if the rain stopped or anything, because um, I've been very much in the interior of the ship. But if it hasn't, then I'm definitely not going out there. I don't want to get all soggy wet on the beach this evening. But um, we'll see what they say. Reverend Dr. E, the cruise director, has been very good about putting information out to us. So um, we'll see what he says here shortly, and we'll go from there. But anyway, I guess that's that um, for now. Uh, we'll talk soon. All right, y'all. So... Um, it is a few hours later. I came back to the room. I was gonna let my phone charge for a little bit before karaoke, and then I just zoned out. Uh, so I just woke up like 30 minutes ago and was like, oh, I'm wasting the day away. Uh, it's very late now. I think all that's left right now is, um, nightclub. They did cancel the beach party and they brought it indoors. Um, 
they did it in the Tiger Lounge earlier, uh, but that's definitely over now too, because that was like an hour ago. Um, but, so I'm gonna go walk around the ship, see what it's looking like, and then mosey on up to the nightclub, see what the vibe is up there. And then, you know, we'll call it a night after that. But anyway, whoops, I guess like I had a little bit more fun in the sun today than I realized, and then was so full after dinner that it was a lethal combination for me to be incredibly drowsy, so, oh well. But um, the night isn't over yet, so let's go do stuff. We'll talk soon. <laughs> So I made my way up to the nightclub, which from where I was at, I had to go outside to access. And I love seeing Ocean Key at night. As you can see, it's all lit up and beautiful because obviously we were still there. And when I got into the nightclub, it was definitely a hot spot in there. So I people watched and danced around a little bit and then made my way back down to my room. But then I remembered that the buffet was still open for late night food. So I made my way back up there to get some of that and then headed back down to my room. So nightclub was cool. It was fun. I had a good time. They were playing some jams. Do people even say jams anymore? I'm probably dating myself there. Anyway, I'm hip, I promise. Um, but I came back to the room, that's why I'm wearing a different shirt, uh, because I came back and I was getting ready to bed down and all of that, and then I was like, wait, they have late night food, so let me show you the spread I got. I did take some footage of the buffet, so you probably saw that already, but I got a couple of little sandwich thingies, a pizza, some cured meat. Um, it wasn't a huge selection, but it wasn't the worst I've seen, so uh, yeah, considering it's, you know, two in the morning. Um, not bad that that's available to you all. It says in the app until four, which is kind of actually mind boggling to me. Um, but yeah, good on them. But I'm gonna go ahead and close things out for the day. Today was a good day. I really enjoyed my time in Ocean Key today. Weather was good early on and then it, you know, kind of got bad in the evening. They had to make some modifications. I did my diamond dinner, as I mentioned earlier. Then I fell asleep. After my long nap, when I got out and about this evening, uh, it was after midnight and there were quite a few spaces that still had people and entertainment and stuff going on. And I was pretty surprised to see that. Um, pleasantly surprised, I think that's a good thing. So if you're worried about Embassy Magnifica being like, you know, an old ship with an old vibe, that doesn't seem to be the case, at least not for this shorter sailing. So um, I'm happy with that. And the nightclub, like I left at like 1.30, something like that. And it was still hopping and popping in there. No signs of letting up. They do stop at two from what I understand. Um, but, uh, yeah, it seemed like everybody was in there to shut it down. So that's pretty cool. The vibe on the ship does remind me of MSC Davina quite a bit. Uh, the ship itself doesn't as much as I thought it would. Um, but that's not a bad thing because I love Davina. Probably my favorite MSC ship I've ever been on. So, um, yeah, I'm having a good time. But anyway, more Ocean Key tomorrow. I'm not sure I'll get off. Uh, we'll see how I feel in the morning. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're still here until tomorrow afternoon. So, um, we'll see what happens. But anyway, stay tuned for that in the next episode. I want to thank you all so much for traveling with me. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all those fun things. We'll talk soon and y'all have a good night.